Uh, I have uh, the largest population of any congressional district in the last 10 years and will probably in the next 10 years because we won't get a second seat. So I'm averaging just less than a million people in my congressional district. Uh, over the course of the last Congress, uh, since January 1 of 2009, I've had 60 town hall meetings. I have another 15 coming up this week. I only tell you that in that I am noticing a change in my constituency about the direction uh, of the American activities in Afghanistan, and it's not good. Uh, my state has been supportive. Uh, they've given the administration the benefit of the doubt. And I just want to suggest that uh, it, it ought to give you at least some pause or some early warning signs that at least, and we're not necessarily a microcosm of America. Uh, Montana's different than California, which is different, thank God, than New York and, and uh, <laughs> some of the other states. And, and so I just want to suggest that as I'm traveling around, I see a problem. And one of the problems is, Nobody really knows who to hold accountable other than, of course, the president is getting um, either the credit or the blame at this time. Could you give me some uh, indication of who we hold accountable for all of the difficulties as, as they're starting to show up, whether it's the corruption, uh, the missing money, the pallets? Uh, you know, it's, it's easy for the fingers to be pointed at DOD and, and at state and at USAID, but I'm confused. I can't articulate a direction right now, and I want to be supportive and defensive on your behalf. I just don't know, and, and, and I love the charts. Could we have a chart like that with some names on it beyond the president and the secretary of state and, and, and such to see who do we as congressmen and women hold accountable? Well. I say with great trepidation, you can hold us accountable. That's our jobs. Yeah, who are us? I mean, it, it, well, let, let me let me answer you uh, seriously, uh, Congressman. Um, first of all, I appreciate your support, and we take very seriously what you've just said about the people of Montana, uh, who have, on a per capita basis, had a higher casualty rate than almost any other state. So we're particularly mindful of that. Secondly. In terms of accountability, that's why we're here, and that's why we'll always be available to your, uh, to your committee. Uh, Dr. Shah is the, is the designated person in charge of a very large amount of money which your committee appropriates, and respect that. I have a non-fiduciary responsibility given to me by the President and the Secretary of State to oversee and coordinate the civilian programs. Uh, the military command has its role to play in this, even if the money flows through another part of the House. And we should be held accountable by you and by the American public, and we respect that. 